we're not just a club out riding motorcycles. We do fundraisers, we do community services, we do scholarships. My name is uh, Greg Slice Fuller. I'm the president of the Buffalo Soldiers Honolulu chapter. The Honolulu chapter was created in uh, August 2006. The Buffalo Soldiers is made up of about 115 chapters around the United States. We are considered the biggest motorcycle club in the world. My name is Michael White and my riding name is Jazz. Uh, my position in the club is the vice president. I chose Buffalo Soldiers uh, because of the, the rich history of the Buffalo Soldiers. Um, I rode with them a little bit before I joined. I saw what they were doing in, you know, in the community family oriented and I kind of figured well hey you know it might be something I want to be a part of. So. What I like about riding a motorcycle is just the freedom, uh, being out in the air, the elements, uh, just having a good time. My name is Lawrence Johnson. My road name, my riding name is Law Dog. This is the second chapter I started. Uh, one in Georgia, the Augusta chapter, and then the Honolulu chapter in 2006. You know, we've got a lot of things going on. We're doing fundraisers, um, giving back to the community, and so um, I'll stop doing it when it stops being fun. We educate the public about the Buffalo Soldiers, about the rich history of the Buffalo Soldiers Motorcycle Club. To join this organization, you have to have a motorcycle. Your motorcycle have to be able to keep up with the crew, okay? If you're interested in this club, you just start riding. Once you get to know the club, then we'll go from there. It takes about a year to become a full member in, uh, in Buffalo Soldiers Motorcycle Club. Just to carry on that name of Buffalo Soldiers, you know, just that means a lot. Just because you see guys riding motorcycles and motorcycle vests, that doesn't categorize us as all being bad guys. Uh, we're, we're not a gang. You know, we're a club, we're family oriented, we like having fun. You know, we don't claim a territory. You know, we're here in Hawaii having a good time and that's what I want people to understand. July of 1866 is when Congress enacted the Buffalo Soldiers uh, Regiments, the 9th and 10th uh, Cavalry Regiment. So uh, the original Buffalo Soldiers were African American soldiers who were not allowed to serve with white troops at the, uh, at anywhere else in the military. Um, they always had a white commander, but they fought bravely. There were many Medal of Honor winners. Riding of horses to what we do now, riding iron horses uh, or motorcycles, is uh, what fascinates people. We actually um, fellowshiped with a, a, a living Buffalo soldier, William H. Waddell, uh, Lieutenant William H. Waddell, who lived in Kaava, Hawaii, um, before he passed away, uh, some of us had an opportunity to fellowship with him and he talked stories about his days in North Africa and Italy. He's buried in Punchbowl Cemetery and we go out there periodically to uh, clear, clean off his grave site. He's featured on our club's banner. The meaning behind the patch is all about history. Uh, the whole club uh, tries to get out uh, and ride together every Sunday as a group. We ride staggered, okay? And uh, the reason we ride staggered is we tend to believe that it's more safe because when we're riding staggered, you have a way out. We actually have a road captain. He leads the chapter, you know, on various uh, routes. We have uh, a close relationship with uh, Harley Davidson uh, Cycle City. When they have bike nights and everything, we come out and we also have our meetings in their conference room every last Sunday of the month. I purchased my bike from Cycle City. Currently I ride a Kawasaki Concord uh, 1400. My experience with Cycle City Hawaii has been uh, pretty good. My first bike I purchased after coming back to Hawaii was from Cycle City. It was a 2009 V-Rod Muscle. I was impressed by that bike. 
I liked it because it had that sporty look. You know, I was that guy, I didn't want a Harley because I thought it was an old guy, old guy's motorcycle. So uh, once I sat on the V-Rod, that was it. I always come to Cycle City. Uh, I've always had my motorcycle service at Cycle City. Um, I've got a Project Rushmore Street Glide. Our closest chapter is a, is a San Diego chapter. So we have to jump on our jet skis to ride across and get over there. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, fly and ride, fly and ride. As long as you got a bike, you're good to go.